guys, it's Megan. I just got home from work. It's Monday and I just had a really like cra a craving to talk to you guys and I knew that my Sephora friends and family stuff would have arrived today. I'm so excited. So I'm going to do like a little haul. It, there's not many things but I want to obviously share that with you guys and then just some other things that are kind of new that I want to talk to you guys about. So I'm going to turn you around and show you my Sephora stuff. So one of my awesome friends, she works at Sephora and so she shared a code with me. This girl is like staring us down. <laughs> um, so I was able to get the 20% off and um, I only have like two other things that I will be purchasing during like the VIB sale. I'm really... <sighs> I'm really trying to rein it in because there are so many sales going on and it's really crazy. And I'm going to tell you about another one in this video. So anyway, we got the typical samples, Clarins, oh, eye cream, that's always good. Two of the, I made two separate orders, two of the Becca Opal um, Shimmering Skin Perfector thingies. And then two of these Dior, it's like lip samples. And I don't like um, the Lip Maximizer, which is on the left. Um, oh, I'll try the Lip Glow. That'll be fun. But then I have two, so I can give one of those to my friends. Oh, and then here's Jolique Balancing Face Oil. Okay, so the rest are the goodies. So you guys know, I haven't even opened anything. Oh my god, look at this presentation of the Amara Vixer Travel Set. So let's push that away. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. It's like a beautiful reusable box and this was the travel set which is $95 oh they're such good sizes so it comes with the thermal cleansing balm which I love this is such a good like morning cleanse or like a second cleanse then I've been wanting to try this so bad the deep cleansing mask um Carolyn Hirons has talked about this a few times and it just seems really cool. So those are uh, 0.5 ounces for each of those. The Balancing Moisturizer. Can't really get it out of there. But that's a nice size for that. And I, I've been interested in trying new moisturizers. So that'll be fun. The Queen of Hungary Mist, which I love. I've only ever had like little perfume size samples. So I'm really excited to try this larger size and see if I like it for the price. And then the Cleansing Foam. This is the one I'm like least excited about. I'm excited about like all four of these and this one I could have done without and don't mind my nails. I have to paint them tonight. But um yeah so this is the Amaro Vixa set. It is gorgeous. I This is such a nice gift. Like this would be perfect if you know someone that's like really into skincare. Unfortunately I don't know anyone like that <laughs> but um I am just so happy to have this and to gift it to myself. Then um, I got my mom the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum, but that leads me into something that, a sale, that, a better sale than this one that I'm going to tell you about after this. So I'm going to actually be returning that. Then I finally got my hands on the Sephora um, Pro Crease. This is the number 19 brush. And let me just take it out of this packaging so we can see it in all of its glory. Holy freaking crap, Sephora. You made it like Valley Forge to get in there. Like, this took me like half my lifetime to get into this. But oh my god, it's beautiful. It's like exactly what I hoped that it would be. And Sephora Pro brushes are so, so nice. And this is $20. Very soft and natural hairs. So I cannot wait to use that. That's definitely bigger than the Louise Young LY38. Like, it's a little bit bigger to me. Um, but it's the same idea. So I got that. And then the last thing that was an impulse purchase, but is one that I wanted last year. This is from the Burberry Holiday Collection. I can't even believe that they brought this back. This is the Gold Palette, number 25. And it's one of their complete eyeshadow palettes and I don't have any of their palettes and so this is very very exciting and like I said I thought I would never get it because I missed on it last year but they brought it brought brought it back so it has the Burberry check I don't know if you can see it and it's like a flap oh and it has little brushes oh that's kind of cute 
um, and it like separates them. I don't know if you can see. And then the packaging as opposed to their, sorry, I have to like set you on my knee. As opposed to their normal like gunmetal packaging, this one is, as you would guess, gold. And for some reason, it will not come out. Like seriously. Urgh! I am pretending to be Hulk right now and using my muscles. Okay, there we go. God, it's beautiful. Can you see it? Oh! Okay. Oh my gosh. It is so gorgeous. And a giant mirror. The entire top is a mirror. Then these are the beautiful, beautiful shades. Oh, I love this. So this is like a purpley brown. This is like a golden brown. This is more of a taupey brown. And then this reminds me of Pale Barley. So let me swatch these. So here are the swatches. Of course, this is in kind of dim lighting. But they're really nice. And I love this colorway. I think that this is perfect for fall and winter but really anytime it's just a really nice neutral palette and it's magnetic this is burberry and there's all the info so that is my little sephora friends and family haul so um yeah, I pretty much bought everything that I really, really wanted. The only things that are left on my list for the VIB sale are the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. And I forgot to mention this in my shopping list video, but there are these adorable Tony Moly. They're called Panda Eye Patches. And so they're like a eye mask, but they look like panda, like how pandas have like black around their eyes. So it looks so cute. They're only $3, and so I'm going to get those. But pretty much... I don't need anything else. And what I was mentioning with the Ole Henriksen and why I, I am returning this is because right now, at least it seems like it's right now, I'm not sure when this code expires, but Derm Store has a code. It's just for the number four, U, just the letter U, 30. And it's 30% off of the Durham Store website. It's not every brand, but it's a lot of brands, including Ole Henriksen, Becca, um, First Aid Beauty, Drunk Elephant was on there, um, Arcana was on there. I'm trying to think of the brands that I bought stuff from because I looked at my lists from like my wish list and whatever. Oh, Clarisonic. I got my Clarisonic brush head for 30% off. Um, and so I'm going to do a haul when I get that stuff because it is like unheard of to get 30% off of makeup and skincare and stuff like that. So use that code at Dermsore at least. I'm going to post this today and I don't know when it expires. So I told you guys on Instagram about it and hopefully some of you are taking advantage of that. But I wanted to reach out to more of you to let you know because... If you want stuff from the brands that are included in the 30% off, obviously you're saving 10 more percent than the Sephora or Ulta sales. So, and it's free shipping no matter what, like no minimum on Derm Store, free returns. I wish I was a spokesperson for them because I just am so impressed with that sale. And I tried some things that I had on my wish list, but then I also got like backups of things that I needed anyway. So that is that. And I bought my mom the Truth Serum. So I'm going to return this to Sephora and it saved like five extra dollars. So yeah, this is going to go back to Sephora. Um, Just a few random things. First, I got this new... um like side table at home goods yesterday a home goods open near us i'm so excited it's right next to marshall's like my biggest we weakness so it's like this really cool metal like distressed metal with a this is like um marble it's a beautiful marble top it's like really heavy I got the new Mindy book and my Pop Sugar, so I'm just leaving it here. And then my lamp is from Target from a while ago. And why is it going out of focus? There we go. But I just love this little setup. It's making me really happy. I want to turn this corner, which is like a mishmash of blech. 
I want to turn it into like a reading corner. So this is going to be like my little side table and stuff, but I need a chair. So if you guys know of places that have like reasonably priced chairs, um, like I don't want to spend tons of money on a chair, but I want it to be comfortable and like one that I can sit in to edit and to read and to just like troll the internet and stuff. So um, I really want to do that to this corner because it's basically useless. I keep my tripod up at all times now though because my vanity used to be right in front of my, in front of my bed. Now it's over here in this corner. And another thing I wanted to show you guys that I got at Home Goods is this. It's a can organizer like for the kitchen. But I thought this would be perfect for nail polish and it literally is. You can double layer them on all, like literally no matter what size polishes, they all would double layer, at least in my collection. And I just love this because I used to have it at the bottom of my my little desk thing. But I never remembered what I had. I never would be inspired to paint my nails and I would only go down there looking for a certain color. So now I see them. They're on my vanity with everything else and it just looks pretty. It makes me happy and it will remind me to paint my nails more. And like we can see, I need it desperately. So I don't know what color I will paint them with today. I have so many new Butter Londons from when I bought them on Hot Look. So maybe I'll do that. This would be so pretty and fun, but I don't know if I feel that, like, bright and happy right now. I mean, I'm happy, but it's just so, like, dreary and freezing outside. It was, like, <sighs> below freezing this morning, and I had to do, like, the whole scraping thing on my car, and it was really annoying. So that's going to be fun for the rest of the winter. It's not even winter, and I already have to do it, so that kind of blows. But what else? Um, I really want to find a place to put this sticker that was in the BeautyCon box. I just think that's so funny, but I don't know where to put it because, like, I don't have a lot of space. Oh, so I moved my jewelry over here when I put the um, nail polish thing there. And then I just have, like, my perfumes and then my everyday stuff down there and nothing really important down there. And then this is where I keep my empties, actually. And this is where I have my little money for empties paper. So when I throw something down in my empties, I make a little tally mark on there. So that's how I've been doing it. And I absolutely love that still. Um, let me show you the candle that I have. Oh, and I have another thing that I want to show you. So I have been loving the jack-o'-lantern candle from Woodwick from last year. It smells so good. I don't have a lot left. But the the flame is like cray cray right now and i'm just burning the last of my smoke berries and incense this one burned super weird um but i love this scent and surprisingly these two go together pretty well but this shirt oh my god okay so as i'm sure i've mentioned like 200 bazillion jillion times I was born on the 4th of July, and it's something that I think is really cool, and people think that it's cool, and people pretty much remember my birthday because of that. And I found this shirt while I was looking for Wild Fox sweatshirts, which I still haven't found one that I really liked. I bought one from, I bought this shirt and a sweatshirt from Revolve for, like, the Wild Fox brand. And they were both on sale and it was like a really great price. The sweatshirt was so weird. Uh, you guys will have to let me know if all the baggy beach jumpers are like this, but it fit nicely in like my body, but the arms were so long. I got the medium and like, I don't have super like T-Rex short arms or anything, but they like went past my hands if I just let them like be as long as they were. So I don't know if that was like a defect or something, but let me know if you guys have baggy beach jumpers and if that's like a normal thing, because I want one because they're so soft and comfortable, but I, I don't want them to go past my hands like on the regular. So anyway, I got this tank top and I love it. So this is the back and it says born on the 4th and it lists all sorts of things that are like summertime. And this just makes me so extremely happy. So the front is just like plain with their logo. And I got the medium, which is my normal shirt size. And it's this really pretty blushy pink color. 
and oh, I just love this. Usually shirts that are like 4th of July themed are kind of tacky looking that you wouldn't really wear any other time other than the 4th. I feel like I could wear this during the summer or even any time of the year with like a jacket because the front is just plain. But I just love this. It makes me so happy. It's so, so soft. You can see I'm like petting it. And all these things are just so cute. Like, it's just so nice. So if any of you guys are born on the 4th of July as well, I feel like not a lot of people probably would buy that. But I'll link it down below just in case you are born on the 4th of July. And please let me know if you were because we have to stay together. And um, it's just really fun and cool. And I just love it. I want to like frame it. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about the shows that I've been watching. Oh, sidebar, freaking Reese's Pumpkins, the mini ones. Well, really any of them. So that my hands look bright red in this lighting, like so weird. But I have been like devouring these. I love them. So you guys know I'm obsessed with TV. And let's not show you my password. Right now I am watching Blood and Oil as I knew it. It would be just as crazy as Revenge. And I miss Revenge, but this is a pretty good replacement. So this is the new episode. And I watch pretty much everything now on Hulu, which I think is really nice to not have to go to, like, all different, like, places to watch your shows. So I've been loving Quantico. All of you guys were so right. This is such an amazing show. I love when I see that there's a new episode on any of my shows because it's just so awesome. So this is so, so amazing. If you like like USA shows or like cop shows in general, you will just absolutely, absolutely love this. Scandal, stand by, everyone should watch Scandal. I've been watching Modern Family during my lunch breaks, funny as ever. Um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, my sister and I have only watched, I think, the premiere episode, so we have a few to catch up on, but I save those to watch with her. Blind Spot, this show is so good. This one and Quantico and How to Get Away with Murder are my favorites right now. Um, Blind Spot is just so interesting. It has to do with, obviously, this girl here. And um, I don't want to give it away, but basically it's like solving crimes in the FBI and just trying to figure out who she is and where she came from. So I've been loving that one. And then... Blood and Oil, we talked about that. The Mindy Project, duh. Like, I watched that. Tomorrow there will be a new episode, so I'll watch that during my lunch break. How to Get Away with Murder, best show ever. I just watched the new episode last night, and it is absolutely, absolutely crazy. Grinder, I didn't really think that that was very funny, but it won't go away from my shows you watch thing. Wayward Pines, I still haven't caught up on it, so... I don't know why it's really showing it there. Then Revenge, that's just sad that they keep it there because it's discontinued and it makes me really depressed. But at least we have blood and oil to fill that hole. I also wanted to talk to you guys about my new favorite songs or my current favorite songs. I'm obsessed with Ellie Goulding on my mind. Literally, that is my life. Seriously, it is super catchy, like, first of all, but the lyrics my life, like, 100%. I'm back into the Biebs. I used to be a diehard Bieber, like, believer, <laughs> and then he, like, went off the deep end, but now I just love his songs right now. Like, I love his voice, and I think that he's really hot now, but I still think that he's an idiot. Tove Lo, I saw her this weekend in Philly, and she was really, really good. I knew that she would be. I'm not, like, her number one fan or anything. I only pretty much know three of her songs, but she was a really good performer, and it was weird, though, because she only performed for, like, an hour, so, but it was fun. Love Myself by Haley Steinfeld. This song is always stuck in my head, so I love that. Loving You Easy by the Zac Brown Band. This one is like the outlier of all of these, but it is seriously so amazing. Like, I feel like this should be everyone's wedding song or something. I just love that. 
Dream by Imag by Imagine Dragons. That's like my favorite song from them. Oh my god, the new One Direction song, perfect. It is perfect. I have, I only started listening to it on Friday. I think that's when it came out. I'm obsessed completely. I know like every single word. Stitches by Shawn Mendes. He is the cutest guy in the world. He is total jailbait, but he opened for T Swift when I saw her, and he is just as freaking gorgeous in person. He seems so sweet. He's such a good singer. I love this song. Everything about him is perfect. Wildest Dreams by Taylor. This is my absolute favorite song from her, and I'm so glad it's a single now. And then Drag Me Down by 1D. I just love that. So, that is my current playlist and my TV shows. And I just wanted to, like, chat with you guys, like, about all this randomness. So, I think that is it. But definitely check out Derm Store if you have, like, a list like I do. And just, I literally went through, they have a page you can see all their brands. I went through every single brand and um, clicked on the ones that I was interested in. I would put the stuff in my cart and see if like the total, the discount would apply to it. And um, just be sure to do that. Like make sure it, it takes the discount off because Lorac didn't do it. Sunday Riley didn't do it. Um, SK2 didn't do it, but a lot did. So you just have to do trial and error. Chloe said that Sigma didn't take it, but um, there's a lot that do take the 30% off. So definitely check that out. And um, the code is just for you 30. So love it. Always use Ebates as well. Um, I think that's it, you guys. So I hope you liked my mini haul and just some chat about random stuff. I miss doing these kind of random vloggy type things, but maybe I'll do them more often. But it was so nice to talk to you. I hope you all are having a great start to your week, and I will see you really soon. Bye!